What's going on guys? Welcome back to Goshen's Games and welcome back to another SAO Alicization Rising Steel video. And today's video we're going to talk about weapons and you know, address a a misconception when it comes to the weapons because I keep getting this from people and honestly you guys should should Pay attention to what I'm about to tell you when it comes to the weapons. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new. Share the video out to your friends, your your grandma, your your dogs, whatever. And let's talk about weapons, guys. All right, guys. So here we go. We're gonna talk about weapons. Let me back up here really quick. First of all, weapons that I'm talking about, that I'm referring to, are the weapons that you get from Gasha. When you go to the scout and you scout for the weapons, this is the what I'm referring to. Basically, the R4 weapons. Okay, R4 weapons are the four-star weapons. I, I, I keep getting people asking me or telling me, oh, you should go and take your Alice Duke weapon to the trader and trade the Alice the duplicate Alice weapon that you have trade that in for the Yu-Gi-Oh weapon that you don't have so that way you can have that for Yu-Gi-Oh. Listen guys. First things first, do not trade your weapons. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to trade your weapons. I'm going to tell you why it's not worth it. It's not worth it because it takes four weapons, four R4 weapons in order to trade for one R4 weapon. That is not worth it guys do not do that if you do that you're a fool i'm sorry okay exchange look if i want to exchange it please select four r4 weapons to use in the exchange i would need to select all four of these weapons to change it for one blue rose sword that is not worth it unless you got like eight of the same sword which even then I wouldn't say to do it because I would rather you limit break your weapons. And we're going to talk about limit breaking the weapons in a minute, okay? But as far as the exchange goes, do not do it. This old man right here that you see on your screen, not, not talking about me, I'm talking about this man right, right above me, he's ripping you off, okay? He's ripping you off. Do not exchange your weapons. You're better off taking your duplicate weapon and throwing it on another character like I do. Okay, you are much better off doing that because in that case, or in that regard, you can still, like that character can still benefit from the weapon even if they are not the same matching type. Alright, so I want to like drill that into your brain. Do not exchange the weapons, it is not worth it. Later on, and I'm only saying this because of memory defrag, this, the way that this game plays it takes a lot of elements from memory defrag into this game so the way that this game plays eventually down the road we'll probably have weapons that they give us for free that we can grind in events to trade in for those r4 weapons do not do not exchange your weapons for another r4 it is not worth it at all so like I said, if we go in here, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about when I say I take the weapon, the, like the duplicate weapon, and I put it onto somebody else. So, like, I have Alice with her weapon here, and instead of limit breaking it, I put the duplicate one on Yuji, because he will still get the the um, the attack increase, the magic attack increase, and the critical rate increase. The only thing he won't get is the bonus for same type. Okay, so the bonus that you get from the same type of weapon, I, I want to say, I think it's like 10, 15%. It might be more than that, but like, let's be real here. When it comes to the R4 weapons compared to the three, the R3 weapons, it's night and day. Okay, max level like a level 40 of the R4 wep or R3 weapon will not match up to the to the level 40 of an R4 weapon. Let's just make that 100% clear. All right? So, with that in mind, you're better off throwing 
the weapon onto somebody else who could use it if you have a duplicate. Now, let's get into limit breaking. All right, so if we're gonna limit break a weapon, let me let me unequip this from him really quick. I want to I want to remove it. Okay, so we're gonna confirm. We're just gonna remove it for for a second. When it comes to limit breaking the weapons, if you have a character, I gotta actually go to the freaking thing. Okay, hold on. Let me let me actually go to the dude. All right, right here. So if you have duplicate weapons, so say you pulled a second. Um, say you pull the second Alice weapon like I did, right? So you have another one that you can go. Yes, unequip it. Yes, un oh, it's on my favorites. Yes, select it. We're not gonna do it, but just select it. Okay. So if you have a duplicate like I do, right? So you're thinking about, oh, should I limit break the weapon? If you can use the duplicate on somebody else, do not limit break the weapon. Okay, because look, it only raises it up by two. That's nothing. Okay, it, you can max, you can limit break the weapons four times, or the R4 weapons, you can limit break them four times. It's only raising it up by two on the first one. That's nothing. Look, look at the small jump that you see for the attack and the magic attack and the crit, the critical rate. It's eight for crit. Attack raises by. 50 54 magic attack probably raises about the same actually 50 so it's not really that much of a big increase to do that so honestly if you can use the weapons on somebody else use them don't trade them in don't limit break them just use them on somebody else now if you if you got like super lucky on your on your pulls or whatever and you you got like 10 of the same weapon like I said you got you got 10 of the same weapon okay fine limit break the weapons because then if you max limit break a weapon then there is a difference but just to limit break it once it's not worth it use the weapon on somebody else okay just I know I sound like a broken record at this point but honestly I get a lot of people asking this in the discord I get a lot of people asking this in the comments I get a lot of people asking this in the live streams so I just need to drill this into your guys' head so you understand do not exchange the weapons do not limit break them if they can be used on other characters throw them on other characters all right if you got a yuki sword you got dupe yuki sword and kirito doesn't have a sword throw it on kirito you got a dupe yujio sword and leafa doesn't have a weapon throw it on leafa you get what i'm saying they won't get the type bonus, but they will still benefit. So I hope that this video kind of helped you guys to understand how the weapons work. And to, to understand why I make it a point to not trade or exchange the weapons. It's, oh my god. It's so triggering when I hear this from people. When, whenever somebody says, oh, you should take that, that Alice sword and you should trade it in. It's so triggering because, one... They don't understand how the trading works or how the exchange works because you need four weapons to trade in for one. So obviously they don't understand how it is to do the exchange. And that's fine. I understand it's a brand new game. I understand that. That's why we're having this discussion. And two, it's triggering because, again, if I do that, like say even if I did do that and exchange four R4 weapons, those four weapons I could have thrown onto other characters and used them in the uh in like in like the cathedral assault right for like my secondary team or whatever like i could have done that but instead i took those four weapons and i traded it in for one and one that's not even limit broke that doesn't make any sense so i hope you guys found the video informational like i said hit the like button subscribe if you guys are new all of that stuff if there's any more questions that you guys have any topics that you'd like me to discuss or kind of give tips on that I have not covered. I will be more than happy to cover it. Let me know down in the comment section below. Maybe I'll make a like a, a video topic section in Discord where you guys can can you know put in what you would like me to cover. Because honestly, there's a lot of you guys, and I'm like I'm trying to get to you guys as, as quickly as I can for your 
for your questions and stuff like that. The best way to, to get a hold of me is either in Discord or on a live stream because I do read your conversations or your comments in live streams. So join me on the live streams and stuff like that. Hell, even if it's not an SAO game, even if it's another game, join me in the in the freaking chat. I'll answer your questions. I'll be more than happy to. I'll be more than happy to talk SAO while I'm playing another game. I have no problem with that at all. So with that, guys, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And if you guys are watching this, well, it's probably after Thanksgiving by the time you guys are watching this. But anyways, I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving, those of you guys who do celebrate Thanksgiving. And if not, hope you guys had a good weekend. I'll see you guys later on. Stay cool.